Hello, I'm Thomas Grillo, and I'm going to talk with you a little bit about the field characteristics of the EtherWave standard theremins after it's been modified with the ESPE01 theremin enhancement module. It's not exactly linear, but it's a lot better uh, than it was without the module. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration of this, and I'll also be talking about how to tune for eight octaves. A lot of theremins mostly have about five or six octaves, uh, but when you tune an instrument that has eight octaves, you have to make some adjustments in the way you tune. So I'll just go, go over briefly the uh, octave by octave comparison, uh, well not really a comparison because I don't have an EtherWave standard to compare it with that doesn't have the module in it anymore. But I'll just give you a demonstration of what the field looks like from a top-down view. Uh, and here we go. I'll just check my tuning first. All right. Now I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it uh, with my body and hand almost relative to each other, uh, stationary relative to each other. Uh, and then I'll do it again with my body standing static with the arm movement. So as the arm is just moving, we'll see how the field uh, linearity looks that way. So here we go. I'll just check to make sure I will have good balance when I get out to zero beat. eight octaves. And now I'll do it with uh, just standing with my body still and reaching out to the antenna. And that's pretty much what the linearity looks like on the EtherWave standard with the module in. Now I'll talk a little bit about the tuning of the EtherWave standard after the mod. Uh, basically, a lot of people, including myself in the uh, pre-mod days, would tune with the zero beat hovering about here. And, uh, you know, because you only had five octaves to deal with. So now we've added three more octaves to the instrument's range. And if you were to tune with the zero beat here, uh, for example, all of those eight octaves are now crushed into a small space. So your notes are a lot closer together and it's easier to overshoot or undershoot in some cases. Uh, so you want to compensate for the new octaves by spreading out the field just a little bit. Uh, and I like to tune with my theremin with the field somewhere about here actually. And that's pretty close to where I normally tune now. And what that means is I'll be standing practically in the middle of the uh, plus zone when I tune. So there's no longer a zero beat here where it, where it used to be.
can see, you can actually still play the instrument quite well, even if you have to move in and out of the field, uh, kind of like the way Peter Pringle does, and I now use that method a little bit myself. Um, but if you're a musician who is seated on a stool or supported by a stool, uh, as in the case of Randy George, for example, and I think Carolina Ike maybe, um, and a couple of others, you will probably want to go ahead and tune for zero beat uh, fairly close to where you are. In this case, you'd have to bring your field in a little bit in order to make sure you have good access to the range of notes. Keeping in mind, though, that you are now dealing with an eight octave theremin, <coughs> pardon me, and you will have to compensate uh, with a slightly adapted technique. Uh, you know, to, to take advantage of the additional octaves and compensate for the closeness of the notes. But, you know, even there, you know, it's still quite playable. to keep in mind uh, when you have an enhanced Etherwave standard with the Bonjol installed is the zero beat zone is going to be narrower and I'll just give you a quick demonstration before the module was installed when the instrument had a very wide zero beat zone which meant that you could turn your theremin on, leave it on, and practically walk away from it. You can't do that anymore and so you've got to get used to muting your theremin just like that with your audio cable and then you can go wherever you want and do whatever and leave your theremin on which I highly recommend you leave your theremin on throughout your uh, rehearsal day uh, so you don't have to keep coming back and turning it on and, and waiting for it to warm up again and then retune. This way you can just come back to it and boom, you're, you're good to go. helps in dealing with tuning the Etherwave standard after it's been modified with the ESPE01 module. Thank you and have a good day.